so we have successfully implement our website that mean we have implement dashboard then after we have create insert operator now only remaining two operators are update and delete right so i'm going to create update operate operation in this video so we'll implement this one before that we'll check our website i'm going to move back and log in again username is the password one two three four five so it will show our information from the database right so now you can insert values using add new traveler so you can add james I'm going to insert this traveler then not it it will show that information here that means we have successfully insert into the database also now we'll implement this update operation right when I click update it is sending this request to update.jsp file right so we create this one in my dashboard we have this thing to update right so rather than sending this into update.jsp so when you send some information to update.jsp on that time we need to return that old user information right we need to show that old user information also for that i am going to use update as a request name and here we will use delete as a request name i am going to save this one and we will run this one again add new user insert traveler on that time it will send with the request name insert right not jsp right so okay so i'm going to add now create this update request in my controller we can add a new case for this update right case there is any request with the name update on that time so we'll create a method show update form So we are going to create this method so update form and when you call this method on that time so we have create this method here I'm going to stop my server and we will expand this screen right so basically now we are when you click this update update function on that time you are getting getting an id also right for that particular row you are getting sending that id also we need to catch this id integer id will be request dot get parameter i have given name as id for this one here you can see in my dashboard i have given name as id on that time it will send the particular id for that row right so it will return 1023 based on that row number okay so we got this id there's exception right so we need to convert this into the integer integer dot pass in now next thing is i'm going to get the old user from the database right so we'll create traveler object tr or old tr which is equal to i'm going to create method do dot get old traveler so for this method we are passing this id right when we pass this id on, on that time we need to return that old travel information from the database so here it should be traveler right so we'll create this method inside my do class and we'll write a query to get all user from the database right now i'm going to write a query here to get the old user from the database so we have id string query will be select all from traveler where id is equal to this id and i'm going to create try catch block to catch the exception e dot 
print is track trace right so now we need to prepare this statement right I'm going to write prepare the statement for this one before that we will create a connection variable which is equal to db connection method it will return connection variable prepare the statement is t which is equal to I am going to write connection dot get dot prepare statement right ok so in this one video we are going to return the traveler right so for this one we need to create traveler object right so tra traveler tree r will be o old tr will be equal to null so we let this import library so let's see this place construct right so i have placed semicolon here okay so now we need to return travel from this method i'm going to return this old tr from this method right now we have prepared the statement we need to replace this question mark with the id right so i'm going to write statement dot set integer it will be first element will be id right now we can execute this line result set will be st so result set r is which is, will be equal to statement dot get execute query so here I am using execute query and result set because when you run this query it will return a row based on the id right so we, we, going to store, we are going to store that row then not we are going to separate that content and send this information to the user by assigning this information into the old user right for that I am going to create a while loop rs.next until we get an we return any value from this request we are going to execute this loop so first string name will be equal to rs.get string name then not a string email right so in our database we have email rs.get string email string passport which is equal to rs.get string again passport gender and finally we have age right integer age which is equal to rs dot get integer id ok so we have got this information not id it should be age we have got this information and i am going to output this line also in my console to check whether this line execute or not system dot out dot print ln statement so on successful execution execution it will write this statement in my console output also by using that we can check whether this line is execute or not ok so now we need to assign this information into the this user right or travel user is equal to new I'm going to pass ID name email passport and then after gender and age right so we'll send this information to the front end by returning all traveler from this method right then after from the front end we need to catch this information right for that I have method in login controller 
so traveler or traveler will catch this information when we call by using this id right after that so we need to send this information to the front end right for that i am going to use request dispatcher so we will use rd as object name so this will be request dot get request dispatcher i am going to paste parameter for this one so our method name is what right so we haven't create update jsp right update update traveler dot jsp it will send this information to this website jsp page when you send this information on that time we need to send this old travel information also so i'm going to set request dot set attribute use traveler is equal to this old traveler and rd request this feature dot forward request and response object also we will throw this exception from this method and let's try to catch this request inside our update traveler method i'm going to take a copy of this method name jsp page name then not we will create this page inside our class right new jsp file i'm going to give file name as update traveler right so we will change title into update traveler so rather than typing this old content we can take a copy of our add new traveler form right i am going to take a copy of this one and paste it here and we will change this into update traveler so page title will be update traveler right right so here also i need to change page title right this one is insert traveler okay so in the update traveler page now instead of showing this input field we need to show this value also right that mean i have send as a request that old user information so we can show this information inside our page by using jstl right so java server so tag library so i have added this library here by using this one i can access this particular information right so for the first one i am going to add value Okay, we will maximize this screen. Value will be C out. Value is equal to so traveler dot id traveler dot name right old name. Okay, let's see whether this one is working or not. Now I'm going to run this program and we'll see whether we are getting correct output or not. So we'll log in again. So we'll have update method which showing this name right so it is working perfectly so we can add email passport number gender and age like this i'm going to take a copy of this line and paste it for the email also so input field value will be traveler dot email for the passport it will be traveler dot passport And finally gender and age right 
so for the gender and this one will be age right for the age again traveler dot age I'm going to replace this one and we'll replace our page also okay so we got this information then not we can change this button into update traveler update traveler I'm going to change button color into the button warning and when you submit this information we need to send this information to the action will be update traveler right I'm going to take a copy of this update traveler because we need to catch this request in our backend page right so for that I have took a copy of this one and when we submit this one on that time we need to send our ID also right for that I'm going to add the field input type will be number value will be see out values value is equal to traveler dot id okay let's replace this page you can see we have this ID right I'm going to hide this ID because no need to show this ID when you update your information this will be hidden from the user you can see ID is hidden but when you send this information on that time your ID also will be sent right so we have this ID field okay so now we will catch this information when you update from your content I'm going to change this Jack into so something like David update traveler on that time it will send this information to update traveler request right okay so we'll move into our controller and we'll write a method to update this information I'm going to move into login controller we'll catch this one case update traveler on that time update right here it should be slash update okay so we have created this method to update this traveler when you call this method on that time it will send this information with the request parameter right so we need to catch this information integer id will be integer dot pass in request dot get integer request dot get parameter right get parameter value name will be id ok let's see whether we have given name for this input field so we haven't given right so we need to give name for this input field name will be id okay like that we need to catch all the information string name will be so these are the update information right not the old information maybe there will be old information but most of these are update information so string name will be request.get parameter name then now the passport will be equal to request dot get parameter passport number and finally we have gender and age right Age will be integer right integer age is equal to request dot get parameter age right again this one is the integer because of that we need to convert this into 
integer integer dot asint right so we have successfully got this information now I am going to update this information in my database right so again we can create a method to update this information before that we let this information into the travel object traveler tree r is equal to new or you can create updated traveler right we'll give some meaningful name so there will be a values like name id all this information id name email passport then after gender and age right now we can call a method by using data access object class to update this information right so i am going to use dao dot update traveler so update traveler right so we are going to pass this update traveler object as a parameter for this one right so after that on successful update we can response.send redirect into our dashboard again right on successful update we will send back into the dashboard ok we will implement this method inside our data access object class so here we are getting this thing as a parameter so we need to catch this information in the, inside this method I am going to catch id which is equal to updated traveler dot get id so then after string name is equal to again updated traveler dot get name so shortcut is control plus space to fill this request right string email passport now I'm typing U and P then after control space it will fill this remaining content so gender also will be update travel dot get gender and finally integer age okay we have successfully got this information now I'm going to update this information right okay so on successful update we need to return some value right okay so I'm not going to return any value we we'll tried successfully update to something I'm going to create try catch block to catch the exception if there is any we'll use global exception class e dot print stack trace right now first we will create connection object connection con will be db connection after that i am going to write a query to update this information right so for that we can write string sql will be equal to update our table name is traveler set first name will be equal to this name then our email will be equal to this email passport will be equal to this passport that's why i am using question mark we will replace this question mark with this values right then our gender will be equal to this gender age will be equal to this age where id is equal to this is our condition right if id is equal to this id on that time you can update this name email passport and other information 
right now we will create prepared sql query so i'm going to call prepared statement class ps will be object name connection dot prepare statement right so we'll set value ps dot set string first one will be name second one will be email third one will be so password right ps dot set string fourth one will be gender and finally you can set ps dot set string so this one is integer right set integer fifth one will be age and finally we have one two three four five then another sixth one will be our id right ps dot set integer here six value will be id okay so now we can run this query i'm going to run this one so we'll execute this one ps dot execute update right because we are we aren't going to return any value here because of that i'm going to call execute update or if you are going to return any query from the database on that time you can call execute query method okay let's see whether this one is working or not by running this program i'm going to move back into dashboard and we'll run this project Okay, let's refresh this page. I'm going to change this into Jack 2 of the traveler. Okay, we will move back into N, then not we will try to update, right? SD 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to update first one SD into solo developer. An update traveler okay we got the error let's see unexpected condition that we under it from okay let's see our error message here In login control right so let's see right so uh, we need to draw this exception now it will be fine right so we have we had unhandled exception on that page okay now you can see this information have been up updated right so I'm going to update this last element name also so we change gender into the female and change james into jane and this email will be jane at gmail.com so i'm going to update this form you can see we have successfully implement update operation also right so next thing is delete and then after we will create logout function so in the next video we will discuss this thing i will share this code as a github file from the description you can download this entire project freely right okay so we will meet with a new project